Welcome to Good Knit Kisses. We're all about helping you stitch your love and love your stitches. Hey, hello, and welcome everyone. Welcome to the replay. Thank you for joining me if you're joining us later. And welcome to the live, people. We are so glad that you joined us today. Be sure and hit that like button and comment down below and let us know what you think. If you have questions, feel free to tell us where you're from and what's your favorite thing to yarn with? What's your favorite tool? I want to know. Hey, we have a special broadcast for you today. We are working on unboxing. There's no work here. It's work. <laughs> I get to unbox something and call that work. That is so cool, right? Uh, so I am so excited to show you all the colors of the new Everyday Plaid Yarn from Premier Yarns. And this is a planned pooling yarn. So if you missed our interview last week with Ray Blackledge from Premier Yarns, you have have got a treat in store for you so check out that video from last week and um, this is a uh, live on Facebook we come live every Monday at uh, 9 a.m. Central 10 a.m. Eastern every Monday and then every Friday on YouTube we have our videos so check those tutorials out if you want to catch more at Good Knit Kisses. Well, this week we are unboxing, and um, as I talk and chat, be sure and type in and say hello, and uh, wanna welcome you guys. Hey, Renee, hey, Katerina, and Aaron. Hi, Joanne and Debbie. Thank you so much for joining me. Be sure and hit that share button. You are going to want to check these out. All right, so I got this big old box. Big box, oh my gosh, I'm hitting the camera. Big box, right? <laughs> So, um, I am excited to open this up for you. I want you to be able to see the colors on camera and not just a static photo. Like, we love moving pictures. That's why you're here with me at Good Night Kisses, right? Oh, I love all the hearts, everyone. <laughs> be sure and smash that heart button and hit the share one for me, if you will. Uh, just share it with anybody you'd like or just share it to your regular page. And then you can catch this again later and be like, what was that pattern she talked about? Because we're going to talk about patterns too. So, um, all right, well, here I go. I'm going to start pulling out some of this stuff. Uh, hey, hey, Aaron's in Oregon and we've got Susan in Colorado. Welcome Stephanie in Jacksonville. Hey, Josie in Georgia, Josie from Georgia. <laughs> oh, Mary's in Oregon too. Awesome. I'm so glad you guys are here. All right. Are we ready? All right. So, um, you know, I did cheat and I did like have to open the thing like, you know, <laughs> so it's too big to put on camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, move my camera so that you can see all the stuff instead of me just holding it up next to my face. You don't want to see my face. You want to you want to see the yarn. So type in there. Show me the yarn. <laughs> show me the money. We're going to say show me the yarn. <laughs> show me the yarn. Come on. Come on. Do I hear you? <laughs> Come on, everyone. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm such a tease. Do y'all want to see this? Um, you know what? I tell you, they did put some things in this box, and I'm excited because I get to show it to you. So it's not just yarn that you're going to get to see, but you're going to get to see some other things. So show me the yarn. All right. I see it. Show me the yarn is coming across. Oh, I love it. You ready? You ready? Aha. All right, let me flip the camera, get all these lights on, and we'll be ready to go here in one second. Show me the yarn already. <laughs> yep, Tom, I see you. I see you. All right, we're getting it, the studio ready here. And let's see, can you guys see? That's pretty good lighting, right? All right. <laughs> I'm just making sure. All right, show me the yarn already. Okay, ready? Here is the first one. All right, this is straight out of the box. There it is. This is the Plan Pooling Yarn Everyday Plaid from Premier. And this color is called um, Turquoise Lime Plaid. And I got to work with this. Um, now, if you've ever used 
um, Premier Everyday Yarn, you know that they have like a Everyday Worsted, which is solid. So this is the same kind of deal. And there's 360 yards in one ball. So it's like getting two balls of yarn. You can actually do in a complete scarf in this. So I'm gonna start pulling out all the colors and I'll tell you the color names as we come across. And we will be giving you links down below in order to get this stuff. Plus for the whole month of uh, September, we've got a 10% off coupon code that you can use online. I'm pretty sure it's on top of whatever they have too. So when you sign up for their list, I think you get like 15% off too. So anyway, so this one is the uh, turquoise lime plaid. All right, this is the next one. This one is the um, navy green plaid. And in fact, let me grab a sample of mine because I happen to have one. This is what we used in the black watch throw. Now, disregard the, the, gray, the gray part, but this is what it looks like. So if you're like, what does this look like, Kristen? This is what it looks like all worked up. Look at that. So this is the plaid. And actually, this is nice because it fits my whole frame. <laughs> it's like I planned it or something. <laughs> so this is the, um, the same color here. Um, so yeah, navy green plaid. Isn't that awesome? So this is done with your crochet hook and um, it's just, it's really simple. So even if you know the most basic crochet, which is single crochet in a chain, you can do this. And we have a video coming out this Friday for the scarf and then we'll have one coming out for this black watch throw so isn't that to die for okay you want to see more yarn show me the yarn Kristen show me the yarn all right so this next one is called purple gray plaid purple gray plaid I'm gonna put these up the these few of them right next to each other so you can really get them look at that so we've got turquoise lime plaid the navy green plaid and then what did I just say I know it purple gray plaid Oh, fantastic. Don't y'all love these colors? <laughs> They're beautiful, right? All right, so let's go to the next few colors. We have, um, we have 16 colors in this line, so there's several to get through. All right, who wants to see, who wants to see a pink? Who wants to see a pink? Look at this, this is a pink. This is pink silver plaid. Pink silver plaid. Isn't that pretty? And this is the one that was in the baby bunting one. And it's so, so squishy and lovely. And the baby bunting one has a zipper. Isn't that nice? And it's so, ah. Oh. <laughs> it's acrylic. And uh, this one, they have a special, just to tell you a little bit more about the yarn, it is, it is acrylic. Uh, you can make an entire scarf out of this. It's anti-pilling. It is their special, special yarn that does not pill. So whenever you wash it, it's not going to get all rubby with all the pills and stuff on it. And um, it feels soft. Like even when you're working with it, it has a really nice drape to it. Like, look at this. It just, it, it's just, oh, it's awesome. Okay. All right. Let's find another pink. Let's do some pinks. This one has pinks and purples. I know we have people here that love pink and purple. This one is pink purple plaid. Look at that color. Gorgeous. Who loves this pink purple plaid? I know you do. So let's look at this next to the pink silver. Let's see. And do we have another one that has pink? We've got, we'll go into some purples next. Isn't that pretty? So what's your favorite? Do you like, who votes? We got pink purple plaid and then we have the pink silver plaid. Do you like the pink purple or the pink silver? I like them both. Actually, it's kind of interesting to do a project with front and one. Pink and black. Someone says is her, their favorite. Pink and purple are her favorite. Nice. Okay, so let's go into, um, let's see what colors. Oh, we want to do purple? You want purple? Or we should we do blues? Let's, let's stick on the blue theme. Okay, let's get some more blues. I know blues are really popular. Okay, this one is the denim blue plaid. And this really is like all the colors of denim. Because you've got your dark denim, and then you've got your like kind of stone washed, or your lighter denim, and then you've got your like your natural, and then your stone washed. I mean, look at that. Anybody love those old stonewashed jeans? <laughs> Ooh. <coughs> Excuse me, I had to wet my whistle over here. Yeah, this one is so great, and um, it really does have that denim look to it. This would be um, fun in there. Um, they have like a, a, a cardigan type. 
Okay, so this is the blue, um, this is the blue uh, denim, or denim blue, sorry, I'm getting it backwards. And then this one right here pulls in one of my favorite colors. If you are a fan of Good Knit Kisses, you see I show this chartreuse color all the time. So this is one of my new favorites. This is called Lilac Sky Plaid. Lilac Sky Plaid. And look at that beautiful chartreuse with that beautiful blue. And then we've got an aqua in there and then a lavender. So look at all four of these colors here. Check it out. You see that? Aren't they pretty? So I love that beautiful, bright, crisp pop of the chartreuse. Just like, boom. So do you like the one, do you like the lilac sky? Or do you like the, um, the denim blue? <laughs> or do you like, drum roll, let's go get this one. This one's really fun. This is on the blue family too we have navy orange plaid so this one has just perfect fall colors like who is ready for some pumpkin spice latte with this sucker right here this is awesome look at this beautiful color i mean it can't it doesn't do it justice here let me see if i can get these on end and then i'm gonna do them all, yeah let me do them all in here so we have lilac sky next to the navy orange and then we've got the denim blue isn't that pretty so we've got the beautiful rust colors with the orange and a hint of kind of, not an army green, but it's got a really pretty rust and then a tan um, kind of orange and then the blue and the blue has kind of a couple of different blues fading in and out. So it's really pretty. What is your favorite? I totally want some pumpkin spice latte. Anybody gotten some yet this season? <laughs> All right, so there's that's those colors putting them all you should I wish you could see my whole table it's got this array back here you can't even see it. <laughs> all right and then we I know we still have more blue lovers so I'm gonna bring in the blues that are more kind of the dusty colors who likes the dusty colors muted tones and things you know these are really great basics that we like to wear all the time right so this one right here oh man this is like extra soft this one is navy brown plaid so we have um, blacks in it and then we have the blues and we have grays and then the brown is in there too. Isn't that pretty? So it's just my, kind of more a subdued color. And then you could pop it with wearing some more navy, like if you have like a navy top and then you put this on it, this would still pop and you wouldn't look like too much like navy, navy, navy. Um, I love all the black and the gray that pops in there too. So it's not too much of that. So, cause remember there's also this one, this is the navy green black see the difference so this one on the left is the navy brown plaid and then this is the navy green plaid so the the, um, the green one has that kind of brighter element and then this one really plays to that fall really well okay here's another subdued one coming up this is really nice and it um, it's actually a brighter version to see this is the tan cream plaid so now we've got a little bit of the blue in here still but then you get that um that nice taupe kind of color in here with cream and that's pretty i have a friend who would love these colors this is so her stephanie if you're watching i bet you would love this <laughs> yes wayne it can be knitted up the um this this one is in crocheted and then the knitted version uh, they've done a poncho and that one is garter stitch so it's just knits and pearls if you're working with needles of course you're knitting on the right side and purling on the wrong side and then if you've got a knitting loom all you got to do is um um uh well yeah, you're just knitting all day on the needles and then you knit on one side and purl um, on the second row on, on a loom. So you're just um, knitting on needles. If it's in the round though, you would have to um, change it up. Anyway, if you're knitting, it's a 16 inch repeat. So it's a very wide repeat, which would make a great cowl or something or something uh, nice and large. All right, so let me show these on end. So we have the um, navy brown plaid and we have, I keep messing up my names in my head. And then this one is tan cream plaid. Let's those together. And then one more in kind of the darker family. This one, now there's more yarn, <laughs> don't worry. Here's the next one. So this one is kind of, there's no blues in here. Uh, but this is the gray black plaid and it's it's your classic 
classic black and gray. Like this is staple everyday stuff and you're not just simply working with the black. Like who wants to work with all black yarn? Not me, but when you pull in with the um, gray, it makes it really fun and then you get this super, super plaid. So this would be a great staple to anybody's, anybody's um, yarn drawer for making stuff for, um, especially for men. I think this would be a great man scarf for this holiday season. So, um, I mean, I would wear this cause I wear black like all the time. <laughs> if you ever see me out in public, I'm usually wearing black pants and some kind of color pop on top. And this would be great to wrap around my neck when it gets cold. Sorry. Right, so we've got, let me see these on the end. We've got gray, black, and then I keep forgetting that tan cream and, um, and then navy brown plaid. So that's these. Which is your favorite? Navy black, tan cream, or the brown? Yeah, these are really good everyday colors. And I'm telling you, these can be washed and they aren't going to pill on you, which is one of my favorite things about this yarn. Like, not kidding. When I first started uh, working with yarn, uh, the everyday line uh, that in the solids was one of the ones that I was one of my most favorite. I worked with it all the time. So, um, and I still do, I still do. Uh, okay, here I go. And they have other variegated yarns too, but this, I like this one because this is made for plan pooling, totally made for this. All right, well, let's get into some bright, fun colors here. <gasps> Look at this one. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. My daughter loves this one because <laughs> we had a sample that was in this. This one is Aqua Rose Plaid, and that's really a good way to describe it. It has aqua and um, a little bit of a blue um, in here. Not, not, not a teal, but you've got the aqua green and then the, uh, the blue, uh, kind of a powdery blue um, or ice blue. And then you've got the um, lavender and then the rose color. So it's a really good one. And um, anyway, really love it. So I love all the color pop. I like the, the pop of the green in there too. Of course, you know, me, I love green. Um, and here's another one with some more pops of green. So these two kind of along the same lines. But this one, you've got a lot more of that vibrant um, purple. So whereas this one has more of that lavender lilac color purple, now you really have more of a violet purple. And then the, um, the rose becomes a magenta in this one. And the green, um, the aqua green becomes more of a chartreuse. And then it still has that same blue in here. But look at the difference what it does. Isn't that pretty? So this one is the magenta purple plaid. And you may have seen this one featured in the sample that I did. Let me pull my sample for this one. Look at this. You can see why I love it so much, right? <laughs> Isn't this beautiful? I love it. It's one of my favorites. So this is the magenta purple plaid. And then we have the, um, the aqua rose plaid. Nice, right? This is so much better than looking at photos. <laughs> now you can really see, okay, this is what I need to order. Okay, so let me put these aside. We still have more yarn, you guys. I'm not even done. <laughs> like, not even kidding. And there's some samples in here. Yep, there are some samples, more samples than what I've shown you. So I'm going to get to those. Okay, these are like, um, there is there is a holiday that's going to be um, coming up, but also there is, um, there's some other ones. So if you are into red, let's pop in the red. And so this is like a red pink and oh, I got something on it. Okay, there we go. Uh, by the way, if you're also wanting to know more information, this is a medium four weight yarn. Of course, it's the 100% anti-pilling acrylic, 360 yards, which is 330 meters. It's a seven ounce ball or 200 gram ball. So, you know, a lot of times your balls are 100 grams. This is 200, 200. So when you're looking at that price sticker, you need to keep in mind, you can do a lot more with this yarn. It's There's a lot in this package. So, um, and it's totally washable. So this one is the red berry plaid and it's got your reds and it's got your pinks and your burgundy wine kind of color. Isn't that pretty? Still very squishable and soft. And then here is another one. This one has black in it. So we have black and red and gray and a little bit of that um, rose pink kind of color. And this one is called red black plaid, aptly named of course because it's red and black and gray. And so you can really tell the difference between these two. Um, so the red berry plaid is more like berrylicious and then the red black obviously has the black. 
So those are really cute in the red colorway, red pinky colorway families. Which is your favorite? Do you like black or berry? Tell me, black or berry? Or you like both? I, I'm pretty sure I love both. <laughs> So yeah, I can totally see this wearing this one too with my outfits because I do wear so much black. The um, I would say that the red black is my fave. Eh, not gonna lie, it is. <laughs> so all right, let me get one more. Okay, one more ball, last ball left. And this is the red green plaid. Ta-da! This is got your classic holiday green, holiday red with the black, and it has that pretty cream in there too. So look at that. You've got all your all your colors for the season. Isn't that beautiful? And there are, um, even if it's, I mean, it's seasonless too because you have tartan colors that people have that have these colors like all the time. So um, yeah, for sure. This would make a really pretty, let's remind ourselves what this lo looks like here with this green. So this green and this black are in it. And then you have a, um, a cream. So the cream would be kind of like where this gray is. And then instead of the blue, you would be seeing like this bright red. So that should kind of give you a good, um, a good, uh, gauge of what this pattern should look like. Do you see that? Isn't that lovely? So you guys like the red green plaid? Yay. Okay. Who wants to see the samples? Write samples if you want to see samples. So just to kind of reiterate, we have, we have 16 colors. Look at this. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, <laughs> 13, oh goodness, I'm dropping stuff, 14, 15, <laughs> 16, isn't this fun? It's so fun. Okay, I'm gonna put these in my little bin over here, and then I'm gonna pull out the other stuff. To walk amongst yourselves. Are you guys excited? Are you having fun back there chatting? I can't see all your comments right now. All right. And just to show you this other sample. So there's that other one. While I pull out my other samples. All right. So, oh, and just so you know, this Friday on my channel, you can see this video on Good Knit Kisses. So go over to youtube.com slash Kisses and hit that bell icon so you get all the new stuff because then the following week you will see this one, which is the, um, the black watch throw. All right, let's get in the bucket here. Let's get in the box. Can you hear this little box on the side here? All right. Ta-da! Ta-da! And I'm going to use this one because this is the next one in the same color line. So the magenta plaid, right? Isn't this this one? This is, oh, the magenta purple plaid. So in the magenta purple plaid, here is the um, Highland Fling Cowl. So this is the Highland Fling Cowl. Just show you what that looks like. And you can double this over, you know, make a really pretty cowl to go around your neck. Isn't that beautiful? So, and it's stitched up. So if you don't wanna do a whole scarf, you can do the cowl. And you can definitely do that in one ball. And um, and this, uh, this adjusts to your gauge, by the way, and I talk about that in the thing. You don't have to, it's just the same hook. You don't need to learn different um, uh, hook size. You don't have to go up or down hook sizes. So it's very economical. You just get your one ball, you get your one hook, and then you uh, work with just the, the um, single crochet and the chain, and you don't have to change to a half double crochet or anything like that, like some planned pooling projects do. And then you get your, um, you get your, your, um, your plaid. So your plaid might be a little skinnier, or a little bit wider than someone else's, but it's yours and yours alone. So, all right, let me move that aside. So that one is the, uh, Highland Fling Cowl. Click on the link in the description below or in the comments below. And Joanne, uh, our faithful Good Knit Kiss teammate is um, putting that in there. All right. And next we have, drum roll, the hat. Y'all want to see the hat? This is the Pied Piper Palm Hat, the Pom Pom Hat. It's not Pied Piper, it's just Piper Pom Pom Hat. And uh, this is a really big toboggan, so it's got that huge slouch to it, like this. 
So it's got that really trendy look to it. And if you guys get cold, I mean, you can just flip that sucker on down. But see how that plaid works up? Isn't that beautiful? And I can't help but I'm like, excuse me, molesting this yarn. I like <laughs> rub on this yarn. So it's like so soft. I love it. So you can just roll it way up and make it shorter um, or just roll it down. Look how when I roll it up, look at how it continues on that pattern. Isn't that so cool? I love it. It's so versatile. Or you can wear it like super slouchy like that. And then you put your pom-pom in the back or without either one. So this is the Piper pom-pom hat and click on that link later on. All right, let's get the next one out. We are uh, looking at, what do I have? What do I have? Oh, this is one everybody wanted to see. This is the the Wee Bairn sleep sack. The Wee Bairn sleep sack. So this is the baby's hoodie here, and then it zips up. Yes, that is a real zipper, and it's a little sleep sack. Isn't that fun? So you st stick your little baby in there, and you cuddle him up, take him to the farmer's market, and they are nice and snuggly. Isn't that nice? So the wee bairn, and you can see how um, you can see how that all comes right together. And then the tutorial talks about putting the zipper in too. So let's just undo that zipper real quick. Isn't that fun? All right, let's look at it from the back because you're gonna see that squishy little baby bottom from the back. So let's check out the back. And it's just as beautiful. Look how pretty that is. Let's find the yarn. Let's find the yarn. Oh, you know what? I didn't find the yarn for this one. Let's find this yarn. If you want to know what yarn this is in, let me find it. Nope, that's not it. Aha, found it, found it. Okay, so if you want to know later, you're like, Kristen, you passed it up without telling me the yarn. If you want to do this yarn, this is the Aqua Rose Plaid. So even if you're not into this pattern, but you like how it worked up and you want to know, this one is the Aqua Rose Plaid. Cool, right? I just anticipated that. I don't know. You, someone may have asked a question, but I didn't see it. Okay, so let's go into this one. This one right here is, if you like this patterning, you can go to get the pink silver plaid. So this one is the pink silver plaid. Be sure and share this so it comes back up in your memories too. Um, I think this would be a really great reference. I, I would want to keep this just so I can see this video again and know, oh, that's the color I liked. <laughs> I love the Facebook memory things. <laughs> All right, so uh, what do we have left? And, and if you're joining me later on YouTube, Sorry guys, this is just <laughs> what I happen to do every Monday, but um, we'll have all the links in the description as well. So be sure and open that description up and uh, we may like paste them in the comments too. So um, be sure and type in the comments too whenever you're in YouTube as well. I love reading those and I still will answer your questions there. All right, moving on. So in the box we have one, oh my gosh, two, three. What are these? These are the scarves. So let's move this bunting away. Look at these scarves. So they are the um, plaid fringe scarf. And this is what's coming out on Friday on my channel. It's got all this nice fringe. Look at that. That is the patterning. And that is, uh, this colorway is this one here. That is red berry plaid. So if you like this colorway here, red berry plaid. So this is obviously red, and then this one is, I called it pink. It's, I mean, it's still in the red family, but it is a, it's a red pink kind of color. And then um, this one's like a deeper wine, and then this one's kind of a classic red. So they kind of fade in and out. And then this is like a, a burgundy, um, almost a purpley red burgundy. So that is the um, red berry plaid. Then we have the, this one. Beautiful, beautiful. This one is the turquoise lime plaid. Of course, y'all, this makes me happy. I love chartreuse green. So if you want to get this colorway, I'll just pull it on down. Don't y'all love seeing it change like that? Isn't that so cool? Okay, so that one, again, is the turquoise lime plaid. 
y'all, I'm not kidding. These balls are really dense. Like they're, they're heavy. Like, I mean, <laughs> the yarn's not heavy, but it's just, there's a lot in here. So 360 yards per ball. It's a lot, 200 gram ball. So anyway, pretty cool. All right. The next one, this is the one that I said I would totally wear in my wardrobe, like on the daily. <laughs> Um, I know my husband would like it. I've made him hats in a colorway like this before, kind of in a banded look. But I love this effortless plaid that it makes in the plan pooling yarn. Look at this one. Isn't that nice? Like it has this really cool diamond effect. It's so cool, right? Let's pull it the other way. It's awesome. I mean... It's pretty stinking awesome. So let's go see. Which one is this, Kristen? I want to buy that one. Which one is it? This is the gray black plaid. So if you like this colorway, gray black black plaid. Okay, so we have these three scarves. Of course, you can make the scarves in any of the 16 colors. To get that pattern, it's called the plaid fringe scarf. Click on the link down in the description or comments below, and you will see a um, you'll see a tutorial on this one. This is a longer tutorial, and I go through all the basics in this tutorial. And um, you'll want to listen to the video first, watch and listen, go through all of it. Like maybe even like take some side notes if you want. You're going to want to click on the um, on the link to our web page uh, so that you can get the pattern and download it and all that later on. But um, you'll want to watch. I, I always recommend watching the tutorial and listening through the first time because you're going to pick up on more tips that way and then start your project. And, you know, because a lot of times when I come out with them, you don't necessarily have all the materials. So the best thing to do is just watch it first and listen to everything. You might pick up on something um, that uh, would help you on another project. All right. So that is this, the plaid fringe scarves. I'm going to put these away because they're so distracting. We might, we might not get to really see everything else. I want to make sure you get to see all the lovelies that are left. We have one lovely left and isn't that gorgeous? Which is your favorite scarf while I'm getting all my things together? Oh, and remember, here's this one. This is that other one that I did. This is the one, um, if you want to know this one as well, this is my little sample. <laughs> That's what I made on camera. Um, and you can put more fringe in there than this. This one is the um, magenta purple plaid. So if you want to see the magenta purple plaid, um, that's a really great one. Okay, on to the last one, ready? Baby blankets, everybody wants to see baby blankets, yes? This one is the um, Bonnie baby blanket. And the Bonnie bl Baby Blanket has this sweet edge. Isn't that pretty? It's not just a scallop. It has this extra little baby scallop in here. I love this edging. All right, let me see if I can get this all laid out because I have a lot on my table here. Hold on. Pretty sure this is the way it's going. So let's turn it the, the correct way. I mean, it doesn't really matter. But for this video purposes, I want you to see it laid out right. Okay, look at that. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. So this is called the Bonnie Baby Blanket and it's got this sweet edge on it. Isn't that nice? Sweet, sweet edge. And then uh, let's find the color. I've buried all my samples. <laughs> I can't find the color. Oh my goodness. Okay, where's the color, people? <laughs> Let's see. Y'all vote. What's your favorite so far? Oh, I found it. I found it. No worries here. If you like this colorway, you can get this colorway um, by going to um, get, where is it? Pink purple plaid. So pink purple plaid. Sorry, I'm getting all tripped up on my cords around here. So that is the pink purple plaid with the cool uh, edging on it. There it is there. And it has, um, it has a nice deep, kind of a deep plum color. And then you've got your purple and your um, kind of rose pink here, like kind of a, a dustier rose pink, which is coming back, by the way. Isn't that pretty? All right. So that is that. And we've got the um, patterns down uh, below for all those things. We've got, uh, remember, we've got the Wee Bern Sleep Sack. We've got the Bonnie Baby Blanket. We've got the um, uh, Black Watch Throw and the P 
Piper Pom Pom hat. And then we have the uh, Highland Fling cowl plus all of the uh, plaid fringe scarves. So we'll have all those links. And, and there are 13 patterns in a collection and we're about to give that link to you right now. So drop that link, <laughs> Joanne. <laughs> so that link is going to be down below and you can get the complete 13 pattern collection for all of the um, plaid everyday um, collection. They've been working so hard on those. Uh, the, the ladies and gentlemen over at Premier Yarns and you can get all those patterns and um, that is that is exclusive here. I mean, you can find it on their website, but hey, um, you can go and click on that and it will let you download all of them together. That way you're not um, missing something. So go click on that. Um, this has been a whole lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure and um, write in your questions down below. Give us your comments. What's your favorite pattern? What's your favorite yarn that we went over today? I'm really glad that you guys joined me. Um, I'm going to scroll up, see if we have a few more questions. If y'all want me to pull one out, um, let me know if you have um, something else you want to see again, uh, one of the patterns. I'm just going to stay on just for a few more minutes and uh, catch any of your questions. You're already making your Christmas gifts, Josie says. <laughs> Pearl's in love with all the scarves. <laughs> uh I love how you can like or reply to comment something new. Yes, yes, there's a whole lot of new features here now. Uh, if you caught the beginning of my video, I now have like an introduction uh, video that comes on before I do. It's kind of cool. I'm going to try and put some of these uh, in here while I'm looking at comments. I'm going to see if I can give you all of these colors back in the frame here. Yeah, one ball um, for one for a scarf. Um, that is correct, Jennifer. Um, I always like to get two balls just in case, you know. Um, but yeah, um, one one ball should do you. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they would be really great pr Christmas presents. There's several of these in here that would be perfect for men. I mean, these are these are styled for men and women, but like, I think this would be really great for a man scarf. Um, this one's a navy orange plaid. Um, you guys, I'm in Texas. We're supposed to be Dallas Cowboy fans, but my husband grew up in Colorado and, um, and Virginia. So he also loves like, he was the Washington Redskins, but our favorite is the Den Denver Broncos. And this totally reminds me of like a Broncos thing. If you don't like Broncos, it just reminds you of pumpkin spice latte. Okay. <laughs> so, um, let's see, I haven't pulled in all the colors yet here. Let me pull in more colors. I'm sorry. I'm just reaching across the screen here. Here's more colors. We got two more. Um, Debbie, that is similar to the cake, uh, yardage is a cake. Oh, it depends on which one. Purple with the green, Samantha says. Love the berry scarf. Lydia says, black gray for me. Pearl says, <laughs> black and gray, Amy. <laughs> These are so cute, right? Um, how many skeins to the blanket? Stephanie, um, <sighs> let me go click. Oh, stop. It just went to the wrong thing. Hold on. Let me see. Um, you mean the baby blanket? Um, I can go click on that right now. Here's another one. Here's that blue. If you um, oh that denim blue would, would be a good one for the fall too. Uh, that would be that'd be really great for kids for school and stuff. You just match all the jeans and throw on a t-shirt. Okay, the Bonnie baby blanket is oh let's look at this picture because it's adorable. Um, look at that. Look at that baby blanket. I mean, come on. <laughs> This one says that you need um, four balls. So pink, purple plaid, you need four balls. And uh, you're using an I-9 size hook, five and a half millimeter. Uh, yeah, so four balls for this one. And then of course that does the edging in there as well. And let's see, does anybody have other questions on something? I can tell you the black watch throw one. You also need the solid yarn um, for the edges of the black watch throw. And this is what it looks like. So um, because I've mentioned it, I wanna show you the picture. So this is the black watch throw. Isn't that pretty? So it's just got this big old pop of the plaid and then the rest of it is solid. So if you don't wanna do an entire plaid blanket, but you wanna do this like nice big pop, um, which I think is so striking. Um, this one would be the everyday plaid. Um, you'll need two balls of it. Um, so just the same as you would for, um, um, 
for say like a really wide big long scarf um, because one scarf one ball for one scarf but if you were trying to do something super big um super thick the um my words are fading me. <laughs> and then you also need for the solid, you need um, eight balls of the everyday soft worsted um, for the solid color. So eight balls for this. So you would get like that blue. And then um, so eight balls to do that. And then two balls to do the plaid part. And that's the same hook size as well. And if you wanted to knit these things, um, I would download the pattern for the um, for the poncho, there's a Loch Ness poncho. One is knit and one is crochet. You want to look at the knit one. So if you are a knitter, um, go look at the pattern for the Loch Ness um, poncho, and it will give you all the tips and stuff for knitting one. Um, and so in the average width uh, for the patterning, um, the where the pattern repeat is, is 16 inches. So you could do um, something like this uh, and adapt the pattern um, for knitting too, just using the garter stitch. So that's really encouraging, right? Uh, what else? What else? Any other questions that we may have missed? Can we knit all these? Okay, I think I answered that question. Beautiful blanket, love the edges. Um, baby touch. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry, Joanne already answered the question for me about the balls. <laughs> Everybody's loving that baby blanket. That's awesome. The hat. You love the hat, Linda. Uh, yeah, I love that too. Debbie says, I love that there's a color for everyone. Every color you pulled, I think of someone and something for someone. Yeah, they worked really hard on this line. I think it really shows. I love the variety of color. Um, the, a lot of times the variegated yarns, I'm usually like lacking something I'm like, oh, I'm not seeing, you know, this colorway, this one. There's a ton of colors in here that would work for so many people that I know. I love them. I mean, this is such a great variety. Really great. Really great. I mean, I love that there's like muted tones. I love that they're super bright. I love that there's kind of a medium. Yeah, for sure. Um, have I used this yarn with looming? Amy, no. However... Um, I think we're going to have Joanne test some of it. I'm going to, um, you need a loom. If you are working with a knitting loom, um, you're going to want one. This, this is not the right gauge. This is a small gauge loom. You're going to want one that's a little bit bigger. The peg, um, spacing between pegs is going to need to be, uh, either half inch or nine sixteenths of an inch. And, um, that's going to be about equivalent. And you're going to want to see if you can match the gauge that's in the Loch Ness, uh, poncho. So if you want to kind of get a head start on it, that's fine. Um, I would, um, yeah, you're going to do a garter stitch. So you could do a garter stitch sample. And if you already have everyday worsted um, for now, you could go ahead and stitch you up a sample and see if you've got the right loom so that you can kind of order the right one. But I think Cindy Wood Loom has one. And um, I know that you could get it in the gauge with um, uh, Kiss Looms. And then I'll keep you posted on any other choices that I find. Uh, knitters. Oh, we've got a note in here for knitters. Thank you, Joanne. She kind of answers some of that. Wayne says, is it available in Australia? Yeah, you can get it online at Hershner's. They ship internationally and also Premier now ships internationally. So you're going to want to go to the Premier website. Plus I do have a code for 10% off and I think that would come in handy for you. Um, we'll throw that code in if she hasn't already. Um, and it's good until the end of September uh, for 2018. So be sure and check that out. If not, go on their website and um, when you sign up for their newsletter on your first order, I believe you get 15% off. So check that out. Um, so, and then of course, Hirschstern's check that out. So uh, I'm going to put this here so you can see what we're talking about. Um, can't click the links. You'll be able to click the links after... Um, after the the broadcast um, right now I don't think it'll let you click on the links just yet um, and then if we have problems with links Joanne will um, help us fix those later <laughs> Wow love the colors everyone said because he loves the denim blue okay could a border be done in plan pooling no I don't think so Josie I mean you'll get you'll get a repeated look on the border let's look at this real quick let me get the baby blanket out um, and show you what a border looks like um, now this is a small border um, but this border here, you can see how the color is repeating. Um, you can see how often it's repeating and see how, um, I tried to describe this in the other video, like see how like the pink here is really long and then you have, this one's really long and then the pop of the purple is just like short and then you've got the pink is about the same length and the, um, the brown 
Uh, I mean, I can't even talk. Anyway, so it's like they're not all the same length. I mean, each color in here repeats relatively the same amount of stitches. Like this purple was, is usually the same um, amount. Like see how it's small here, small here. Um, and then the other ones are bigger. So anyway, it's got the same repeat in all the balls. Uh, but um, some of them are bigger, wider. Than, I'm not describing this very well. Okay, I'm going to stop. Because <laughs> I'm not describing it very well. But <laughs> I love it has, how it has a variety to it. And it works up. Um, is this yarn soft? Yes, Linda. This is absolutely soft. I... I like it. Um, it's very squeezable. Um, <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, Lorelli uh, says, don't need any yarn. Don't tell hubby. <laughs> uh, you know, but I have heard of people storing extra yarn in their luggage that they don't use. They'll like stick yarn in their luggage. And then when they get ready to go up on a trip, they have to like offload it. <laughs> if you need more places to stash. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Is there a color close to black and gold? Um, the, no, you know, that's probably one that's missing from it. Um, this one has more of the, the, the one that has the most gold look would be this one, but it's more blue. Um, so this one is the, um, navy orange plaid. So you get that blue navy color. The one with the, the black, um, I mean, this one obviously doesn't have any gold, but this one has the most black. And then, of course, we have the one with the, the reds or the greens. So those are the only ones like that. But as far as gold goes, that one's the only gold. So navy orange plaid, but it's really it's orange that you're seeing. It's just that the navy kind of makes it have this brassy look to it. Um, yeah, so Cindy Wood half-inch loom would be perfect, Lorelei. Yes. Am I saying Lorelei? Is it Lorelei? Maybe I'm saying it wrong. I'm so sorry, honey. Get to know with the loom. I have several looms. Wonder if it work on my thirty six. Yeah, um, yeah. Do um, I don't know. I can't tell you, um, Lorelai, if it's um, if if it's a unit, a true knit, or a flat knit. I would have to do that experimentation myself. I would start with. Um, maybe a unit because it's kind of midway and see how that goes and make like a nice um, Maybe like a nice six by six sample to really get the gauge on it If you have some solid before you get this one in I mean you can go ahead and get it But um, if you if you have the everyday worsted, it should be a similar uh, Size on your knitting loom uh, to work with that but the bigger the loom um, uh, Is better not like a little tiny loom with the right gauge like not something little like this because you're gonna need to be able to get at least 16 inches to get a nice repeat um thank you so much cindy i appreciate it she says you're doing good <laughs> um wash and dry and cool okay washing instructions let's look at washing instructions this is machine wash warm tumble dry no heat okay so those are the instructions and of course you don't want to use an iron so you can put it in the washer you can put it in the dryer so the washer can be on warm or cold and then the tumble dry you just want to make sure and turn off the heat so it's really just an air dry mode okay so that's what I would do um, yeah let's see. Oh, just looking if we have any there's a lot of hidey holes <laughs> Jennifer says <laughs> Lorelai has a secret stash spots all over the house Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh yeah. You're welcome on the city with loom. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm so glad. I'm um, so glad that you came along. Be sure and click on all those links. If you are new to good knit kisses, you're just finding me for the first time. I'm so glad you joined me today. Be sure and hit that like button. And if you'll hit the C first um, and hit the notifications, there should be a thing on here to turn on notifications whenever I do go live. So I do go live every Monday. And of course you can catch the replay later we do have all of the live replay broadcasts on a different channel on youtube so if you're on youtube go to gkk tv so that's youtube.com slash gkk tv that's that's for short for good knit kisses television and um but my main channel where we have tutorials is good knit kisses so youtube dot com slash good knit kisses and click on that bell icon to get notifications you guys i have something fun to share with you good knit kisses is now almost at the one billion 
watch minutes. Yes, on YouTube, we have almost 1 billion watch minutes. So coming up, hopefully this year, we will be celebrating that. I cannot wait to celebrate that with you. And um, tell me in the comments below, what should I do to celebrate? Yay, right? What should I do to celebrate? Should we um, get some yarn and give that away? Of course, right? We should do a bunch of things. So we should celebrate really well. <laughs> So, um, if you have not checked out my channel, please do that. I would love, love, love to do uh, have you there and uh, give you some more um, <laughs> tips and tricks and tutorials. So, anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Happy knitting and crochet. Bye, everyone. Thanks for joining us today, where we help you stitch your love and love your stitches. See you again soon.